Risks of the LNG storage tank. The property of the LNG vary with the composition, which depends on the location of the origin gas. The origin natural gas will primarily contain the methane, ethane, and propane, and may also contain many other materials, including the water vapor, carbon dioxide, or nitrogen, or etc. LNG is green, non corrosive, non toxic, and will be cryogenic gas at the at the normal atmospheric pressure. Is it odorless? However, odorless will be added before distribution. Even though LNG or methane is a non-toxic, but when it's leaked, it can cause suffocation when it occurs in unventilated area. LNG terminal. Liquefied natural gas or LNG is simply a conventional from the natural gas which consists of methane with a small Low amount of the water like hydrocarbon, such as ethane, propane, and butane. This is a typical LNG terminal facility. LNG terminal facility typically consists of the LNG receiving and storage facility, LNG pump vaporizing facility, gas exporting unit, and support unit, such as the heating water. Major hazards associated with the LNG terminal. During this study in the engineering phase, Loss of containment of the LNG to surrounding is the most critical consequence from the LNG storage tank since when LNG is poor on the ground, small quality of liquid can be converted to large volume of the gas when spillage occurs. One volume of the liquid will produce approximate 600 volume of the gas at the ambient condition. Initially, the gas produced by evaporation is at nearly the same temperature as the LNG and is denser than the ambient air and dispersed of the vapor cloud in which could cause a vapor cloud explosion or VCE, resulting to multiple people fatality in the area. Anyway, the typical sort of LNG hazard that can be found during the safety engineering review such as liquid leak under the pressure from pump or from pipe leak, liquid leak from the storage tank, rollover of the LNG storage tank, liquid pool evaporating to form the flammable vapor pool. An accident release of LNG will pose the following hazard. First one, asphyxiation, frostbite, cold burn, Britain fracture, rollover, Radiation burn and structural weakening from the flash fry, pool fry, or jet fry. Or last one, overpressure and impulse from the confined vapor cloud explosion. First hazards, or suffocation and frostbite or cold burn. LNG is extremely cold and expands under the vaporizing into the large volume of the vapor. If an LNG spill does not ignite, it's poured and asphyxiation or cold burn leaks to the personnel very near the spill. For example, direct contact with the metal at the cryogenic temperature can damage skill tissue more rapidly than exposure to the cold vapor. This can be the factor to decide with the platform ladder and handle used in the access and escape. Table below show the physiological effect at the various minimum oxygen concentration or MOC level and effect impact to personal when contact with the cold LNG. When MOC is 20.9, physiological symptom or effect is nothing. But MOC when the concentration is 19.5, it means LNG mon percent is 6.7. Impact is a low, lower limit for the confined space entry. For the concentration is higher, it means MOC is allowed 10 to 6 percent by volume. It means LNG is around 52.2 or 71 priority. It can be affected into the inability to perform vigorous brain damage. If the minimum oxygen concentration or MOC is lower than 6, it means LNG is more than 71.3 mol per cent. It can be cause of personal death. For compared with the temperature, exposure temperature, 
at the lowest temperature at the minus 160 degrees Celsius in liquid phase, it can be permanent damage to the skin. Same in case of the gas, it can be possible to damage the skin in a short exposure time. When the exposure temperature is allowed minus 113 degrees Celsius in the gas phase, it can be possible to damage the skin in long exposure time. When the exposure temperature is allowed minus 73, it can be some cryogenic inhalation problem. Next hazard, Britain fracture. Construction material for non-cryogenic service are usually chosen on the basis of the tensile strength, fatigue, life, wage, cause, easy, of fabrication, corrosion resistance. While dealing with the low temperature, we must also consider the ductibility of the material as well. Low temperature has the effect of making many materials brittle or less ductible. The ductible of the material is a measure of its ability to be stretched, to bend, or to absorb impact. From the picture, Britain factor can occur very rapidly. The availability of absorbed energy is dramatically changed. The popular standard for impact strength test for the cold condition is a Sharpie impact test. This technique uses a drop weight to measure the ability of the specimen to withstand an impact load in a cold condition, which the test result was present in terms of Sharpie impact value. Nick Hazard's rollover. Rollover is the cause of the two layers of the LNG having a different density and, and heat capacity. When the heavy layer is laid down or top or bottom layer warm and become the lighter layer, this unstable situation allows the suddenly mixing up these two layers. The heavy layer in the mixing warm the lighter layer, resulting the release of the large volume of vapor or increase the pressure in the solid tank immediately. As shown in the picture. Flammability. The flammability range is the range between the minimum and maximum concentration of the vapor in which air and LNG vapor from the flammable mixture that can be ignited and burned. The above picture is the upper flammable limit and lower flammable limit of the methane. The main component of LNG which show as the 5% and 15% by volume respectively. Fresh fryer, pool fire and jet fryer. Yeah. The main treat of the LNG spill is the fire. In fact, the leak analysis in safety and chilling phase of LNG primarily focus on the hazard of the pool fire. Due to jet fire, it occurs only within the process pan and is not typical a treat to the public. And the fresh fire is also considered an entrancient condition. The exposure time to the fresh fire normally considered in a few seconds, which is different with the pool fire. The potential of the people fatality inside the fresh fire is lower than the longer lasting pool fire in the same distance away. Example five type of each accident scenario show as the table. In case of the LNG solid tank leakage, if immediately ignition, the type of the fire is a pool fire. If delayed ignition, the type of the fire is a fresh fire or vapor cloud explosion. If leakage from the LNG pump or pipe, and immediately ignition, the type of fire is a jet fire. If delayed ignition, the type of fire should be fresh fire or vapor cloud explosion. The last one has that is BV. A BV of boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion is explosion resulting from the catastrophic failure of the vessel containing up the liquid significant above its boiling point at the normal atmospheric pressure. The most common cause of BV is 
probably when a fire increased, the, in, the internal tank pressure of the vessel contained a frame impingement that reduced its mechanical strength, particularly at the parts of the vessel not cooled by internal liquid, resulting to the tank suddenly split and pitch of the vessel chill can be true as a flying object. So this is the major hazard for the LNG storage tank and LNG terminal. Thank you for watching my video. See you next video. Bye bye.